Down to the last eight in Hamburg and the roof was open for what promised to be an electric quarter-final Friday. Each of the four matches would contain a man from Argentina. First up was 2013 runner-up Federico Dalbonis, who didn't allow having an early lead pegged back in set one against Karen Hatchinov to dampen his spirits. Oh, it's a good point. Good hands from both. Dalbonis broke the third seed for a second time when it really matters. Oh, he raised the bar and then some there. The next-gen star was able to break immediately in the second to take a stranglehold of the set. It's better. With the roof now on, Dalbonis once again lost a break advantage, but similarly to set one, didn't lose heart at the business end. Beautiful start in his attempt to close from Dalbonis. Another tremendous result for Federico Delbonis through the qualifying and now through to his first ATP World Tour semi-final of the season. 2014 champion Leonardo Maia was enjoying his second chance in the main draw. The lucky loser's quarter-final with Yuri Vesely was nip and tuck, but Maia was beginning to turn the screw in a set-one tiebreak. Beautiful. The Argentinian took the opener and after seeing two break leads disappear, forged ahead for a third time. This one proved clinical. Oh, what a combination. He's missed it. The lucky loser, Leo Meyer, marches on in Hamburg in Germany. One of two players flying the home flag was Philipp Kohlschreiber. Having squandered a 5-1 lead in regulation time of the opener against Nicholas Kicker, this time it was the German to mount a comeback in the ensuing tiebreak. Oh, close, but good enough. Having saved a set point earlier in the set, Kicker would need to do it again to keep pace. Cole Schreiber went to set up by the skin of his teeth, but in a competitive second, it was Kicker who was looking to edge it. It is a first break of this second set. Parity was restored, and in a decider littered with service breaks, it seemed as the German went after a second, it might prove decisive. It's even better. <laughs> in full flight, the German. That is wonderful play from Cole Schreiber. But that wasn't to be the case. Cole Schreiber would need to go again, but this time there'd be no way back for kicker. <laughs> Philippe Cole Schreiber returns to the semi finals here in Hamburg. A wonderful match again featuring the German and to the delight of the German public. Florian Meyer was looking to become Hamburg's second German semi-finalist and was off to a flyer in the last quarter-final against Diego Schwartzmann, playing his trademark unorthodox brand of tennis. Very nice. <laughs> That's the airborne version. Meyer took the opener at a canter, but it was the Argentinian number two with the upper hand in the second. Good set of tennis from the sixth seed. Nerves were jangling in a third set low on quality. A crazy period of five breaks of serve led to the home hero being able to serve for the match. Yes, this time gets it done. He eventually saw off the spirited Schwartzmann to set up an all-German semi. He's done it. Florian Meyer prevails. What a battle full of drama. Up and down all the way. The final four encounters in Hamburg will see Argentina versus Argentina and Germany take on Germany, both on semi-final Saturday.